here are here's Joel, and you saw Ellie back in the previous room. This is uh, what we're calling the the Hunter City. This is here's a city one. that was originally a quarantine zone, uh, run by a, a pocket of the U.S. military after the government had collapsed, run by martial law. Um, but the the various people in the city. Uh, rebelled against the martial law, overthrew the remainder of the government there, and now it's just sort of anarchy in this city. And the hunters uh, are people who look for other survivors who are passing through their city and try to capture them, kill them, and take all their stuff. So uh, they refer to anyone coming into their city as a tourist, and Got it. sometimes you'll hear them refer to Joel and Ellie as tourists often. And, you know, here we're really trying to show the, the beauty of a city that has been reclaimed by nature. They're, you know, this is, this is life. This it's is, funny you mention that because I've uh, seen other games uh, try to do this and you guys are doing just like effortlessly. You're just like, this is the way it works. Here's how we do it. Yeah, and it looks fantastic. Enhanced. Effortlessly. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> just trying to bring you up, man. You're my dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Blood, sweat, tears. That's what this is. This is too rich for uh, But yeah, you know, we, we really want to make you feel that this is a world worth living in. You know, one of the big problems with a world that's too devastated is that it's lost the beauty. It's lost those moments where you say, I want to live. I want to protect this person. This person, Ellie, has something to live for. I, playing as Joel, want to protect her so that she can continue to live in what Water. is a beautiful natural world, even if it does contain this struggle. You know, as, as a lead game designer, you, you look at this environment, what's the first thing that pops out your mind? Do you look at the way the level's designed? Do you look at the art? Do you look at the atmosphere, the lighting? What do you look at right away when you look at a, an environment like this? Well, one thing that we've really done with the environment is we've played with the light, way that we're handling light. Uh, this is a world with no electricity in it. Um, I understand. So we don't have direct sources of light. Everything is ambience. Everything awesome. is bounced light. Sounds like my radiosity. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we're really, really playing with soft shadows and things like that. As we turn to the right here, I think we'll catch Ellie's shadow as she comes against the wall. Yeah. And you see that everything Such is softly move. lit. <laughs> so that's, that's one of the things that we're really pushing technology-wise. But in terms of uh, gameplay, what you get to see here is that this is what we call a wide linear space. Right. Uh, it's We're telling a linear narrative, there are pinch points where we make sure that every player does this one thing for sure, but the player has a lot of different choices as to how they're going to handle this. In this case, this was our stage demo, like I said, we handled it in a more guns blazing sort of way. Ran in and immediately started attacking people. Take out this guy, take his bullets, now attack other people. But you could have actually skipped all of these people. You could have just made it through to the other side, found the next staircase, and moved up beyond them. You know, one thing as a, as a, as a director, I love the fact that you guys take the time to move that camera around and show you just a nice, beautiful, tight shot of his reaction being grabbed. Like, you guys move that camera with confidence. Like, you know exactly what should be seen. That's well, that's, really cool. that's a really important ready. thing for us, to, to give gameplay this cinematic feel. Um, we are making a an extremely systemic game. You know, I think a lot of people have been reacting to how beautiful and fluid the, the melee is. Right. Oh, yeah. and all of the, the physical attack moves and, and how all it of these stumbles realistic. and things. Like, right when he got shot on the shoulder, it was like, that must have hurt. All of this weight yeah. and movement. Well, what we've been doing is we've been creating systems that look at the environment around you. They look at the geometry that you're Including standing next to. With the, with the hangers moving. Oh, yeah. yeah all of that. <laughs> That's my favorite one. That's all no. physics That was my favorite there. pimp moves. Uh, like, oh, yeah, of course the clothes is going to move. When you That's see Anthony, detail. you should tell him that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll tell him that. <laughs> uh, but so all of these moves, this is all gameplay. This right. is all synced melee with... with um, the, the, the game looks at all of the, the geometry around you and yes. says, there's a wall here, there's a desk here. Well, so when he throws scripted. a punch. This is the PS3 calculating, building this world around the game around you. Yes, we make dozens and dozens of different animations that could deal with all these different situations. And the game chooses the best contextual animation based on what you're doing. Right, right, right. And over here, you see what we're doing with our balance of power AI. That's what we're Which sort of amazing. talking... This is my favorite part. Click, click, out of ammo. Yeah, and exactly. the AI reacts to that. I've never seen that before. So this, this triangle here between the guy who realizes that Joel has run out of ammo comes in and then Ellie chooses to attack him. This is all the, the AI keeping track 
of how many allies they have, how much ammo they have. Does the does the player have ammo? Uh, do they have a flank route? Good Ellie job, will always Tommy, try to yeah. flank. So and help all these you systems out. are talking to each other behind the scenes while the gamer is just enjoying the experience. Exactly. Exactly. Video game design 101. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have seriously been advancing all of these systems so that we can make a game that's as realistic and as cinematic as possible, but completely unscripted. And here we're this also is one of showing my you. Parts. Yeah. In fact, you show the submenu. So, so there's a lot of, of, yeah. of scavenging here. Yeah. We we have a crafting system where you have to find different supplies. And what what uh, Joel Dude, did. Dude, that's water physics in a bottle. Yes, it is. That's, that's whatever. A yes, physics. it is. I noticed yeah. that there's actual liquid in that bottle. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're going for the detail, man. Awesome, man. And what's really cool about the crafting system is that you have the choice of how you want to use those items. You can choose from the same items, alcohol and bandage, to make either a med kit to give you more health or a Molotov cocktail for <laughs> offense versus defense, right? And so it's all about player choice. It's about systems. It's about wide linear. Dude.